welcome back to the lesson where we're going to be talking about a song I made up uh, at the Azora Festival this year in 2017. Uh, call it Azora. Uh, check it out. But basically, you're going to have to, it's a quite a simple pattern to do. It, this is a Celtic minor handpan, but I'm sure it sounds great on most, uh, most scales. Um, you need to know basically one technique that we covered earlier, which is the right right left kind of uh, triplet so basically you need to be able to reliably do a and that starts with and I'll start very slow so the base of the song which you will always kind of go back to is that's it so right right left right right left um, we'll do the whole thing slowly at first but uh, but if this causes any issues for you, start slower and then work your way up later. I think this is the tempo that I use, which I think sounds good. Is Also, you have to note that uh, there is kind of an accent on the first note. So actually, out of the two rights, the first one is stronger. So the volume actually goes down. It kind of has this pulsating uh, effect to it. So try to get this down first. That's going to be your first uh, element. Now, in between these elements, there will be basically eight quarter notes. Uh, and how that's played is, uh, so you have the triplet. And then you go into keeping your left hand on your lowest note here. And then it's just from here on, it's eight notes. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Um, I said that backwards, but you get the idea. Uh, and then before starting into this fill, this is called a fill, which is kind of a what happens in between the rest of the song. Anyway, uh, you pick four notes in your head that you are going to move your right hand around. So for example, um, the first one will be, I'm, I'm planning this out in my head as I'm doing this. I plan out this L, so one, two, three, four. So then the fill sounds like, and then you go back into, pick one two three four you can pick anything one two three four you can also go one back back and forth basically as you're doing this you have time to think about what's going to be my next fill you can even do two at the same time here and you'll hear that each of these patterns will have its own kind of uh, unique feeling to it so this is the first type of fill you can do in, in this, um, in this uh, let's say, song. Um, uh, what you may have also noticed is you can also go do kind of a scale up and down. So it would be, again, eight quarter notes. That means right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. It's eight notes, so it would be... So that would sound like this. eight notes and any eight notes you want to do sounds fine so it can be one two three four five six seven eight or it can be something like so it'd be so again while you're doing the basics and you don't have to really think about it too much you pick what those eight notes are gonna be and it's really easy because all you have to remember is just four right left combinations really anything and and that's really the basis of it and what you can also do is progress from so your base for your left hand will still be your lowest note and then you progress your right hand uh, where you do the where you do this two rights you progress that to various areas and that gives kind of this progression to the song so it could be Uh, if you want to further this experience, you can uh, 
basically do anything with those eight quarter notes that you want to do. You can continue a triplet pattern, but you can also do, um, give you a few ideas to, so you can practice. This is again just four motions of right left, but here I decided to use go like this. So you're actually hitting two notes here and then you want basically um, and that's that's really it and uh, make your own patterns your own fills and uh, yeah enjoy subscribe if you like this video and you'd like to get more uh, lesson updates